this, City of Song, Laughter and Romance presents a new thrill for tourists. You pay your ten francs and voila, a ringside seat at the smallest show on earth, Monsieur Robert's Tame Flea Circus. But don't come too close, those microbes are man-eaters. And what a show it is, Ali Baba and the 40 Fleas. <laughs> What thrills, what a spectacle. Prince Charming himself riding up in the fairy coach. Uh, no, he's come by taxi instead. And so do the ball, the jitterbugs benefit. Just when everything's going fine, pandemonium breaks out. That's Prince Charming gone west. Those fleas get hopping mad and the audience scratches for dear life. But the show must go on. Next time, don't forget the DDT. Before social media or network TV, people had all sorts of bizarre ways to entertain themselves. Flea circuses might be one of the most peculiar examples of this. First used by watchmakers to show off their skills in crafting tiny circus and carnival attractions with movable parts, most flea circuses use no real fleas at all being completely mechanical and later electric. Ones that did turned it into an art form. They separated the fleas into those dispositioned to jump and those that preferred to crawl. The ones that jumped being designated to kick balls around while the others pulled tiny cars and operated tiny ferris wheels and merry-go-rounds. The fleas were fitted into tiny gold harnesses and due to their short lifespans generally wore them for the rest of their lives. Flea circuses had their heyday largely in Victorian England, but the sideshow act, with and without real fleas, found an audience around the world. Flea circuses used mainly human fleas, Pollux irritans, due to their large size compared to dog and cat fleas. As hygiene management improved, such fleas have become exceedingly rare. Today, flea circuses are merely a novelty, and predominantly of the mechanical variety. But serves as a reminder that you, are not the first crowd to seek out some insect entertainment. I would like to thank each and every one of my subscribers, and especially my patrons, for bringing us to the 300, and let's see if we can't get 300 more.